Hey, everyone. So a few weeks ago, I did a vid video on my cosplaying with the 501st Legion costuming. So, and I talked about, you know, the building of costumes, some suppliers, and I just got today uh, my, my chest box today. So today is, as you saw in the description, this is called Big Brown Box. Now, Triple B, this Big Brown Box Day. With uh, Big Brown Box um, in Star Wars community, this is what we get. Boxes come in these big brown boxes. So I got this today. I ordered my chest rig for my X-Wing pilot that I'm building. There's my helmet, uh, which I'll, sh I'll show that in a minute what I did. But I wanted to get to this. And now to kind of make it go quicker, I already did, you know, broke the seal and everything, but I have not opened it. I wanted to open this um, on on live video, just one, so I can one, you know, show you, you know, my surprise and how wonderful this product is. Because um, I did buy this from Intergalactic Supply in Jason Hill. So uh, been waiting for this for a few weeks, but in it, it's worth it. Um, Jason puts in so much uh, great work. So here we go. Let's uh, unbox and see how it turned out. So at least it's cool. Um, so Jason Hill is a, uh, a fellow 501st member. And that's how I came across him through other 501st members. So he has what some 501st members have is personal patches made. So he sent me his personal patch. Um, he is known to, as TI20421. Um, I like the 421, some like TK421, but he uh, got it as TI20421. So really, really cool patch. He's got his Imperial Gunner and his TIE Pilot. And sent me his Intergalactic Supply Patch, which really, really cool. Uh, probably um, the Imperial Gunner in the TIE Pilot. I see so much um of him building of course uh, if you go to intergalactic supply which is in the comments below uh for his facebook page he actually has videos up of how he builds uh the the tie pilot and stuff so really really neat um really cool patch very quality patch so jason if you're watching this thank you All right, so here's the hose that will connect to the chest box. Um, comes with very nice um, magnet. So, of course, behind me, I've, this is the, the flight suit, and this is uh, I'll, this is from Wampleware. So, uh, when you connect this to the um, to the chest box. This right, right along here, there's a pocket. Now, this goes inside the pocket and connects, so that way it looks like you know the hose is you know connecting to an air supply or something. So, but the magnet, like I said, it's three earth magnets, so it's going to stay on there with a washer, and I it's probably. I'm, I'm assuming it's probably E6000, um, but it, I mean, that, that is not going to go nowhere, which I've, I've seen some X-Wing pilot costumes um, or uniforms that the earth mag or the magnets like to fall off. This ain't coming off. So really, really like that. Uh, so Very, I mean, 
very well packaged. Um, so. Double bubble wrap. My kids are going to love this because they love bubble wrap. So. Um, and I, and I think in the video I, I, I may got my uh, Imperial Gunner helmet from Jason Hill. Now I had him build the helmet for me. So when it came, I now it's the only thing I didn't. Um, basically, I had to trim the the armor piece. I, I went with the the hard armor rather than the what's called the bib. I just like the hard armor look a little better. So uh, it. You know, he uh, did a fabulous job on the uh, boxing of that one. Still, again, this, the, the plastic that he's got this wrapped in is, it's a heavy-duty plastic. It's not a plastic to where, you know, I'm, I'm putting pressure on this plastic and it's not, so... So there it is. Um, comes with all the all the strapping. This comes around your waist. Uh, I can tell you, this is I've I've it's very lightweight. Which, if you're in a in a, in a costume for a long period of time, weight starts playing a difference. Very very good quality. Um, I'm assuming ABS plastic. The buttons uh, look to be cut wood, sanded, painted very nicely. Uh, basically, almost like the same buttons that you would see on a TIE Pilot um, chest rig, too. Uh, decals. And like I said, this fits over. And actually, because I'm, I'll have a... Uh, kind of like a vest so actually almost almost perfect and like i said this comes around the waist so lightweight 3d prints i've seen of these are heavy almost kind of bulky uh the back end it's held on by a you know abs plastic you can see so obviously i can um if i pull these hard enough i could probably adjust the strapping and everything which like I said, I don't think I need to. So, but really, really nice. Of course, he's got this cut out so I can, if I have to, adjust it. It's got the adjustable strap. Looks like it's just E6000 right here. Probably some other type of different type of glue. I'm, I'm not sure, Jason, what, what you use, but this ain't going nowhere. The belt buckle's quality. It's not a cheap plastic look alike or like aluminum this is this is good good metal so yeah um all i'm waiting for is the vest and the 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 strapping that you see so <laughs> x-wing pilot's almost done so awesome thank you jason for getting this to me um hope you're feeling better too uh jason had a uh if I remember correctly from one of his posts, he uh, had a little incident with a with a crab. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you're getting better. And thanks for getting this to me. Uh, again, love the patches. Uh, so I think the last time uh, we talked, when I talked about the 501st, I did talk about, you know, I was building a X-Wing helmet. So, but it wasn't painted. It wasn't painted at the time. Now, I did post pictures on my Instagram, on our Instagram for DS Attractions Review. So, this is a Black Series helmet. It comes in as Red 5, Luke Skywalker. Well, I don't want to be Luke Skywalker. I don't look like him. He doesn't look like me. So, I decided to do a uh, my own personal modification, own paint job and stuff. So I figured I'm a TIE pilot. So you see a lot of TIE pilots, they 
they, they, they learn to not see the way of the empire. So they decide, you know, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to jump ship. I'm going to desert and they join the rebellion. So my number of course is TI four zero ninety one. So my, you know, every, unlike the 501st, the rebel legion, you kind of give yourself a backstory. So my backstory for my rebel pilot was TI four zero nine eight one decided to um, basically desert uh, from the uh, Empire, joined up with a uh, rebel X-wing uh, squadron. Well, they had no helmets, so basically, but they had all the parts and everything. So what he did was took his uh, Thai pilot helmet did all the modifications, cut the front shield out, you know, put the, the comm antenna on, put the buttons on, and then just, you know, basically pieced it together, kept his helmet black, and then put the blue uh, stripe and the blue uh, birds on. So that's exactly how that's the story. Now, 40981, his number... I'm like, okay, how can I change that to, um, you know, to give me my X-Wing pilot name? So I kind of did like what they did with Finn. Um, so I took 409, flipped the 4 for an H, then, of course, the 0 became an O, and the 9, I turned that into a P. So my name is Hop. So this is Hop, the X-Wing pilot, the former Thai pilot who became a rebel X-Wing pilot. So all I did with this was I, um, one, there's a button here on the Black Series. So with the Black Series, uh, to make it, um, to join the Rebel Legion, you have to do some mods. So I modded this, I filled this, the, the button in. And when, once I did that, sanded it down and I painted, I probably put four coats of white paint on this helmet. Now I wanted to keep the gray here. So I just put blue painters tape, blue painters tape around this, took the inside out, took, took the strap out before I painted it. And started started painting this, got it all white, and then took black spray paint. Uh, I think I used the gloss because my uh, ex my Thai pilot helmet is glossy, so I was like, oh, I'll keep it glossy. Put it, probably put the first couple of coats went on really nice and everything, but then I spray painted it one more, and I think the, there was some humidity and caught that, and it kind of gave it some ridges and everything kind of I actually ended up liking it. I wasn't sure at first. So got that, got the painter's tape off and uh, decided, you know, how I wanted to do this. So I decided with the blue uh, on the, with the blue look and I think it turned out fabulous. I love the blue on, on black. Decided to give it a thin blue line um, along the uh, the mohawk blue uh, birds on either side. Had to do had to make a couple a couple of them um, again because one side they're still off a little bit, but I mean nothing's perfect. But then for the buttons, after I got done, I had it sitting and everything. I'm looking, I'm like it's just kind of missing something. So I grabbed more uh, vinyl decal and now my my wife did these I, I sent her these and she cut these on uh her cricket so i just grabbed leftover blue put that on there put it, and then took an exacto knife and cut around i am going to do some more things to the back i'm going to add but for right now you know i'm it, it's done now i'm i'm thinking about you know getting some uh blue um uh, paint uh, marker or pen 
and putting like hash marks and everything. I'm not really going with the the V in the circle that you see. Um, I'm going more, I'm probably going to go more tick marks. I'm going to put some uh, work, some numbers and wording and stuff on, on here um, in the Arabesh uh, Star Wars language. So, um, so yeah, this is basically it's ready again. The real reason I came on here was to, was to unbox this in front of you. I, like I said, um, if you want to build an X-Wing pilot, definitely get go through Jason. This this is a, a a very very well done and like I said, just putting this on I really don't think I'm going to have to move this down. Of course to make it better. Definitely have to work work on how getting this in. So probably have to get with Jason. Be like, how did you get this in? Um, but uh, but yeah, this is this is so well done um, to the Earth magnet here to keep this on to this box. It's so lightweight. So um, again, if you're going to build an X-wing pilot or Tie pilot, Imperial gunner, Navy trooper, you, you name it. I would definitely get with Jason at uh, Intergalactic Supply. So um, that being said, I'm off. Um, you got questions, like I said, check out Facebook, um, Intergalactic Supply. Follow Jason on uh, uh, JHB66. And he'll, he will get you set up to where you could join the, the, uh, the Empire, the good side. And... Uh, or build yourself a, a rebel pilot. I never thought I'd be doing a rebel pilot. Honestly, I am. I, I look at the rebel alliance as the bad guys. But I just became intrigued with the uh, the build and everything, and also doing my own next one. So might as well. So here we go. Uh, once it's all together and everything, I can't wait to start trooping. So. We'll see everybody. Um, you guys all have a wonderful day. Happy Veterans Day to all our veterans. I'm wearing my uh, Air Force Hawaiian shirt. I'm an Air Force veteran and an Army veteran. So uh, with that being said, I am off, and we'll catch you next time for DS Attractions Review.